As I said, we will be back this way soon. Also, I probably decided to split the video here. In case I did, hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! In our last episode, we just got through the sealed gate, and shit went crazy. What happened? The Espers all threw off together. The Imperials all ran out too, it's all as if they were afraid of something. Which way did the Espers go? Towards the Imperial capital. Vector. <laughs> We're almost a vector. Hey, what's that? <laughs> what's wrong, Terra? I can feel them. They're getting closer. You can feel what? There, a flash! What was that? It couldn't be. The Espers? They're coming this way! Terra, watch out! Bahamut. What was that? Setzer, get down! Kieran. There's Bismarck. Carbuncle, Phantom, and Espers? Where are they going? They were angry. They were angry? No. You mustn't go. Please don't go. More importantly, why are we shaking? Is it because of the Espers? Uh, Sensor, I've lost control of the airship! If I recall, we actually crash land near Zen. Pretty sure. That's the returner hideout. heals me. Yep. Thank you. And you are a shop. Oh, I can buy high potions now. You know what? I might want to buy some of these, actually. I'd say ten should do just fine. I don't need that many. Alright. Yeah, it looks like we crashed around Miranda, actually. I could have sworn we crashed near Zen. Guess not. Yeah. Alright. And everything's on fire! What's going on? What in the world happened? Out of my way. What in the world happened? Young folks, please don't give up. I ain't going to, Granny, but thanks for the healing. Dude, your shop's on fire, but I need to shop anyway. Now here's Argus and Bannon. Argus. Bannon! Imperial Palazzo. Ding 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 dong. Oh, hi. The Emperor is expecting you. Uh, this way, please. Okay. Hump, 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 hump. Gonna hump the shit out of you. Alright. Oh crap, I actually don't remember what the answers are. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna go save. I've lost my will to fight. The Emperor's had a change of heart. Sid! The Espers came to save their friends. When they learned that none of them were alive, they ravaged the entire city. I'll never forget their shrieks of rage. 
We're hanging up our weapons for good. The war is over. The power of those espers. I had no idea. They'll destroy the entire world if we don't do something. We're utterly helpless against them. We must find a way to calm their rage. Men should never lust after power they lack the means to control. Oh, I agree, Sid. Friends, let us speak more over dinner tonight. There are still some soldiers who would prefer to keep fighting. Please talk to as many as you can before dinner. Make them understand. Will do. You have four minutes until dinner. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Imperial after... One soldier. Ah, ah, ah. War is over. Two. Lost my will to fight. Three. Four. Sorry if I'm not reading their dialogue. I just... It, it's kind of hard to when you've got a rush. And this scene takes a bit. Yeah, use that toilet, Kafka. How oh, dare they put me in a place like this? <laughs> I just can't believe it. What a bore. Yeah, thanks for eating my time there, Kefka. Ate it like a Sunday dinner. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Okay. Five, six. There's our Gale Hairpin. Seven. seven. Ugh, how low can you go? I hate Kefka. Yep, use the toilet, Tara. Thank you. <laughs> you don't even care that a guard's watching. Just use it anyway. That's how it goes, right? There's one each up here. Yep, ten. There's one dude up here. About two. Three. Or eleven, twelve. Is there any up here? Yep, there's one right there. Oh. Please die. Thank you. <laughs> I can. Thirteen. Gotta run, gotta run! robot. Two on peace. Oh, two on you. The other guy don't make me fight him. Yeah. Oh. Just 
Just fucking barely, dude. <laughs> I'll sit with the returners if that's all right. At long last, we can all be together, sharing a meal at the same table. Let us make a toast. To what shall we raise our glasses? To our homelands. Well then, to our homelands. <laughs> Thank you, Lionheart. As many of as you may know, I've imprisoned Kefka for his crime of using poison against Doma. What do you think should be done with him? Leave him in jail. I see. Well, let's let him stew in his cell for a while. Then we can decide what to do. I am truly sorry about what occurred in Doma. No one ever dreamed Kefka would use poison. That was inexcusable. I'm terribly sorry about what was done. I promise to punish Kefka severely, and to work to eradicate poisons all over the world. By the way, with regard to General Celeste... Celeste is one of us. Kefka was lying. General Celeste realized the lunacy of this war long before I did and went over to your side. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Why did you start the war? It was a result of my foolish lustful power. I've come to my senses now. With your permission, I'd like to move on to discussing the espers. Why do you want peace now? Because I now believe that working together is our only hope. Some of my men still do not believe we should have ended the war. I felt they might better understand if they could meet you face to face. The Empire has been decimated by the espers that emerged from the sealed gate. They're just too powerful. If we don't do something, they'll tear the entire world apart. They have gone a bit too far. When the espers came through, the, came through on their rampage, all of my ambitions faded in an instant. Now I find myself asking why I ever wanted that much power in the first place. Of course, there's no excuse for the atrocities I committed in the name of conquest. By the way, what was your first question you asked me a minute ago? Why don't you start the war? Right. Anyway, I truly desire peace. I want you to understand that. You must be getting tired. Why don't we take a short break? Uh, yeah, take a break. You never heard of... Oops. Uh, not yet. I didn't mean to ch go into this chair. We're truly going to bring peace. I'd like to test your strength. Maybe I've got sure. <laughs> Boing. They even gained a level. Just as we thought. Just as we thought. <laughs> Just as we thought. Just as we thought. Alright. Dot dot dot. Alright. Boop. Boop. Yoink. Yes. Is there anything else you wish to hear me say? That your war is truly over. Alright, I swear. Right here and now that there will be no more fighting. And now I have a favor to ask. After they attacked us, the Espers flew off northward towards Crescent Island. We have no way of knowing when they'll decide to go on another rampage. We need to find them and convince them to sit their aggression before that happens. But considering all the Empire has done to them, I doubt they'll be willing to listen to us. That's why I need to borrow Terra's power. Terra is the only one who can bridge the gap between human and Esper. I have a Magitek armor transport ship moored in the port of Alrook. I had hoped to send it to Crescent Island with all haste. Would you please go on board? Yes. I'll have my top general and some of his troops accompany you as well. General Leo? You know, if I would have had Cyan with me, I would have gotten extra dialogue here, but, you know, again. I'm General Leo. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Didn't I see that guy in Doma? Oh, right, he was the one with principles. So that's General Leo, eh? I'll be waiting for you in Albrook. Sweet. <laughs> Please find the Espers and convince them to cease their attacks. You're our only hopes. Indeed. If Terra goes, I go. Ah, oh, thank you. 
The rest of you stay here. I smell a rat. As do I. It's hard to trust the Empire. Emperor, just like that. We'll remain here and watch for anything out of the ordinary. Thanks. You'll be our ears and eyes. Keep your guard up. Well, I'll set it backwards, but whatever. Right, you be careful too. <laughs> yeah, it's just Locke and Terra now. Of course. Yo. Talk to you. War is over. War is over. Alright. I guess Gaskell will stop us here in just a second. Now at least we'll get Shadow full time for a while. Here we go. What do you got? I bear a message from the Emperor. Due to your decorum at tonight's banquet and your grace in speaking to our soldiers beforehand, the Emperor has decided upon the following. All, all Imperial troops will be withdrawn from South Figaro immediately. In addition, Imperial forces will withdraw from the Kingdom of Doma. We also unlock the armory at the Imperial Observation Post to the east. You are welcome to any of the weapons and armor within. And this is a personal gift from the Emperor. Finally, I was told to give you this because of your impeccable behavior at dinner. Sweet. Well then, if you'll excuse me, that means I got the highest score possible. Yay! Alright. So now, because I got all that, I can actually, like... Uh... Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, that'll definitely help. I don't know who I want to give it to, though, right now. That's the problem. Guess I can hold off on using it for a bit. I do need to give someone sprint shoes, though, because this is dreadful. Okay. Well, before we actually stop by an Albrook, I might as well go ahead and go pick up the one thing. It sucks that I don't have any real AoE damage right now, outside of, like, say, Locke or Terra casting elemental spells, which I don't want to do. I've never really been one uh, to really, you know. Oh, wow. Wing snap. Yeah, he parried it. He didn't parry that one, though. Uh. What I want to know is why Locke's not attacking. Maybe he hasn't. He didn't get a command recently or something. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Really? Uh, the game's really wanting me to use that freaking. Uh, why was he on defend? What the fuck? He really wants me to use that ward mangle, doesn't it, guys? Jeez. He sees a berserk thief. It's, it's definitely worth it to come over here to the Imperial base. For sure. There we go. Now Locke's attacking. Like he should be. <laughs> the reason why it's worthwhile to come over here is because we actually get some really good gear. I really wish this version had the whole B to dash thing. Alright. Angel's Wings. X Potion. 8,000 gil! Hi, Ether. Hermes Sandals. Elixir. Alarm Ring. Angel Ring. Angel Ring is actually really good. It casts auto regen. Uh, 20,000 gil. Reflect Ring. Which Reflect Ring kind of sucks. Because uh, it gives out a Reflect, obviously. Flame Tongue and the Fire. 13,000 gil. Jeez. Great stuff. 
And if memory serves, there's a hidden treasure chest down here. At least I thought there was. Isn't there? Yeah, there is. Thought so. Fucking elixir. Aha! Yes. Isn't there like a sworn? I guess not. Alright, but yeah, we got the elixir. And I just want to check everything. Let's see. Oh, there, okay. That be it, yo. Okay. Now, I do want to change... Uh... You know what? Yeah, I think this is going to work out. Because where she's going to have the ultimate weapon, it feels like it might be a good idea to give her angel ring. Because that way, you know, she will always be regenerating. I don't really need the hero's ring, to be fair. I mean, it's good to have, but there. Kind of want to keep her with haste anyway. Gonna go all the way down here. There we go. Talk to General Leo. Ah, uh, there you are. Another Imperial General and, and a man I hired back in town will be accompanying us as well. Celeste and Shadow. Let me introduce them. General Celeste and Shadow. <laughs> Is something the matter? Uh, no, it's nothing. We depart tomorrow. In the meantime, I've arranged lodging for you at the inn. Please try to get some rest. Celeste. Pew! <laughs> oh man, we're about to hear one of my favorite tracks in the game. Celeste. I'm working for the Empire, but don't worry. They didn't hire me to kill you. Well, you wouldn't be able to kill me even if you tried, Shadow. I'm too good for you. I'm sorry, I just like that song way too much, man. <laughs> I will probably give the hero ring to Celeste, though. Honestly. She's the one that had it originally, anyway. I study monsters. The ones on this continent seem to be exceptionally vulnerable to magic. Oh, really? Nice to know. No wonder Saban just tears through them, eh? The engines are all running smoothly, sir. We should arrive tomorrow morning. Why don't you rest until then? Sure. 
<laughs> oh man. Having trouble sleeping? I hear your emotions have returned. It's, it's strange, isn't it? The Empire used me, controlled my very thoughts, and now here I am, cooperating with the same people. People are people. Not everyone in the Empire is like Kefka. So... What about you? I knew that you were half Esper and being made to suffer through horrible experiments. Yet I did nothing. I'm no better than Kefka. If a human and an Esper can love one another, do you think a human and I could love each other? Of course! But... I don't even know what it feels like to love someone. Oh, Terra. <laughs> You're still young. Someday you'll know. I'm sure of it. <laughs> but I want to know now. Patience, young one. Patience. Who's there? thought I'd sleep out under the stars. Did you hear what we were talking about? I didn't mean to listen in. <laughs> so, I can't help you. Those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Terra. There are people in this world who have chosen to kill their own emotions. Remember that. <laughs> I see you over there, Locke. Don't think I don't. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, oh, uh. oh. Uh. Greatest treasure hunter reduced to this. No! Oh. <laughs> oh, love it. We're almost to Crescent Island. Rumor has it that the lost power of magic can still be found on Crescent Island, weak though it may be. Nah, nah, nah. We already said that. We find we need to find the espers quickly so we can make peace to them. Or something like that. We're almost to Crescent Island. When we make landfall, we'll split into two groups. I'll go with Celeste, Terra, you go with Locke and Shadow. If you find any clues as to where the espers may be hiding, report back at once. Let's go. <laughs> Shadow. Uh, Locke? I, uh... Come on. Oh. <laughs> Man, it makes you feel bad for Celeste. <laughs> That's me, anyway. Shadow! Oh my god, use the freaking Hutan, Rython, and stuff! You know, I don't know. 
I just thought, I find it amusing that Shadow's des uh, desperation attack is actually uh, Shadow Fang, which is just a standard weapon skill in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> oh god. What brings you young folks here to see me? <laughs> yeah, really. An elderly gentleman who has spent his whole life pursuing the secrets of monsters. Strago! Strago matches. <laughs> and you know what? You're right, I forgot about that. I'll unequip him as soon as I can. So you know about Espers, if it's not already too late. Nope, I can't say I do. Not the thing. Not one thing. Oh, Lord. Something's fishy here. I swear to God, Realm better call him a fuddy-duddy. If she doesn't, I'll be mad. Grandpa! Ugh. I don't know if I like Realm's new sprite. Rid up. Hey! What do you think you're doing, young missy? <laughs> In her picture, she captures everything. Forests, water, light. The very essence of things she paints. Are they friends? Can they use magic too? Shush! Oh, what a cute doggy! Back off, he bites. Go back to your room. Why do I have to go to my room? You never let me have any fun. Because I said so, now shoot! Fine. <laughs> ah, seems you have taken a liking to your dog. <laughs> yeah. I can too, I just can't do it. Huh. Slam it. I thought she... Oh, there we go. I thought she slammed the door. <laughs> that child. My apologies. It's, it's fine. He usually doesn't like other people, though. Anyhow, I'm terribly sorry, but I really don't think I can be of any help to you folks. I, I uh, I see. We're just your ordinary, quiet little village. You're not going to find anyone who knows anything about any of those Esper things here, I'm afraid. Not in Thamasa. Hmm. There's something strange about this place. Let's have a look around the village. Indeed. Thanks for your time. Uh, sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Yeah, right. Interceptor! <laughs> Hi, bye! There's actually a very valid reason for why, um, for why, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? For why, uh, Interceptor takes up with Realm. There's a very valid reason behind that, actually. Huh? Where'd that voice come from? What the hell? Wait a minute, did I just... Huh? Did I just find a scene that I never knew about? Uh... Really? I, uh, I've never, I've honestly never seen that scene. I think I just found a scene I've never seen before. The fuck did I do? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know anything about this. Ever. <laughs> Let me just stop myself there. Actually, this scene right here in particular, um, with the mom wanting to cure the, the kid, I did demonstrate that scene in my initial Let's Play, which I'll probably have a link to. Um, but I did learn about that particular scene from Nintendo Capri Sun. I think the other one might have been as well, but I had never actually seen that one because I don't know if I saw it in my original LP. Just wanted to clear that up, and back to our regularly scheduled broadcast. <laughs> Good. Um, at least I don't think. <laughs> oh, I love Sachi fucking waves. Oh... Curio, yeah, I think I love the medicine of the Curio cabinet. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know if I recognize those scenes, dude. <laughs> that, that's uh, that's something special. I like I love this game. It's my favorite one of the series, man, and I've played it like a bunch of times over the twenty like twenty or so years that I've known about this game. And I don't think I've ever seen those scenes either. That or I'm having a major fucking memory fart. Like a major brain fart, dude. What the hell? Because what I like, I just remember coming to the end to rest. 
And it just went from there, and you know, like, what? I... Wow. I... I don't know. I don't know if I ever actually saw those scenes. I, I'm gonna have to look back at my old LP and see, the one where I did on the PlayStation version. <laughs> oh god, yeah. You gotta help, Realm, she's, uh... Something happened to Realm? Yes, she was on fire, and, and then it caught the neighbor's house on fire, and, uh... Oh, I can't even think straight anymore, but... Please, you have to help her! God, I can't do a frantic old man voice to save my fucking life. Just... Shadow! Nope, he's just gonna play there. Nope, I'm not doing it. <laughs> he's like, fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Interceptor. Where did you go? Well... Realm's in there. Kaboom! <laughs> Realm! Uh, what are you doing? Be flames be gone! Bing. Nope. Magic is forbidden! Magic! <laughs> I don't care! Realm's inside! Flames be gone! <laughs> Bling. Mayor! Alright. We really have no choice. Stand back. <laughs> the granny. Bling! <laughs> a lot of flame ro flame rods in there. I'm going in. Wait, I'll go with you. Count me in, too. I'm not gonna let an old geezer go in there on his own. Why are you calling a geezer? I'm only 70 and fit as a fiddle. Geezer, he says. I can't do a good old man voice. I'm sorry. I kind of imagine him having more of like a Master Roshi voice than myself. give him both uh, earrings. Oops, there we go. Because he's got no reason to be in the front line or, like, not casting, so. There we go. Oh, wait, whoa. Fire's spreading fast! Looks like this house could collapse in a second. We have to hurry and find Realm! Looks like both of these guys mastered that, that particular esper. Okay. Let's see what has. Which one do you still? I oh, only. Yeah, that one only give her poison. Uh. I suppose Kate Sith could be good for a while. Locks Master Chiba, so I definitely need to give him a new one. I'll give him a unicorn. Works for me. Okay. Doesn't even... Oh, boy, that's, that's it. Aqua Rick. Breath, I guess now. Oh, load of damage. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Aqua Breath for sure. At least they're in a pincer. There we go. 
One thing I've never really done in this game is I've never really used Strago too much, so... Yeah. One of these days I probably should. Like, actually take time to go around getting his lore spells. But, meh. I ain't too bothered. Because, I mean, blue mages, that's that's the thing about blue mages. Like, they're powerful, they're brokenly, brokenly powerful, but the thing is, like, to me, they're not really worth using. And by not worth using, I mean, it takes a lot longer to build them up than any other character, so they kind of earn that power, but by the same token, you could you can do just fine without, without them, so I often just don't use them, because I don't want to put in the effort to actually build them up. You know? That's how I am, anyway. I don't know if, like, any of you guys feel the same. Oh god, yeah, they are. Yeah, you almost need a blue mage on a low-level game. I know that much. You know, I'm not gonna spam his magic. I need to save some for the boss. I mean, it's not like I don't have ethers, though, mind you. I know, there's an, I know there's an ice rod in here somewhere, and that thing's missable, too. Because if you go to the wrong door, it's, uh, it just takes you on to the next part of the game. Oh, we're pincered. Great. Definitely need a lore spell here. Take out the entire left side or right side there, so you got these. Blink. Oh, crit. Oh, God. Wow. That did some damage. Block gained it ever. Oh. I thought I could go in there after the thing. I didn't know I was going to trigger another one. I'll just, uh, let auto battle deal with this one. Then again, I mean, like, that's cool and all, but then there's, you know, there's the, the argument for um, Gem Box plus Economizer, and, or Soul of Thamasa, I guess. Um, there, there is an argument for that in Ultima Ultima, so there's the Ice Rod. You know. So there's always, like, alternatives you can use. Isn't there, like, a fire rod over in this side? Hey, look at that. I love it. Everything's on fire and we have time to look around. need to stop using Aqua Breath. <laughs> That's okay, I got plenty of ethers, though. I might use a couple on him here in a sec, just to restore his mana. Yeah, now's a good time. There you go, just one. Should be fine. Is this what started the blaze? Alright. Damn. 
Tara just knocked the fuck out of it, didn't she? Keep smacking with ice. Boom! And he's dead. He takes the bombs with him. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I, I learn all the magic spells anyway, like the normal magic, so that's like literally whatever. <laughs> Realm, where are you? Realm. Uh oh, we're too late. But even then, step mine doesn't do a lot of damage until you've taken a lot of steps, too. But you will by the end of the game, so that's really of a moot point, but yeah. But the thing is, I don't remember if step mine's AoE or not, whereas Ultima definitely is. So, you know. But also, too, there's tricks to getting a lot of AP as well, like taking out Intangir when you can, you know. Uh, Bat and Cactars, so there's really fast ways to grind magic. Time to get out of here. I'll use a smoke bomb. Meow. <laughs> of course, that's really not how smoke bombs would work. You okay? Uh, thanks, Granddad. <laughs> These folks are the ones you should be thinking. Thank you. I guess our little secret is out now. Everyone in this village can use magic, can't they? What is this place? This is, uh, the village of the Magi. A long, long time ago, humans used magicite to acquire magical powers. Those who gained the ability to use magic were the people known as the Magi. I can't do a good old man voice, I am so sorry. I didn't think there was any Magi left in the world. After the War of the Magi, the Espers fled to a new world beyond the Sealed Gate. They wished to live in peace without fear of their powers being used by others. That left only humans in this world, and the ordinary ones feared the Magi's power. The horrible <clears throat> horror of the War of the Magi was still fresh in their minds. It soon turned into Inquisition. Magi, the Magi were hunted down and executed. Oh, there were trials, of course, but they were merely for show. Even though the only difference was they could use magic. The few who managed to escape took up shelter here. They were our ancestors. Our powers have weakened as our magic magi blood has thinned, but they remain in some form or another. Okay. If you're up to it, uh, do you think you'd be willing to help us? You said you're looking for some espers, right? Well, I do owe you for saving Realm. I'll help you find your espers. Yay. I want to go too! I think not, young lady. Yes, at least they kept that line. But where do we start? Hmm. If they came this way, they may be hiding in the mountains to the west. Why there? These mountains are teeming with magical energy. According to legend, they're a sacred place to the espers. Perhaps the magic of that place drew them there after they went berserk. It's worth a look. Fuddy duddy. <laughs> Uh, I still really freaking need a ah. Da -da -da. Okay, I still have Strago with me. Da -da -da -da. Bow, bow, bow. All right. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I just wanted my dog back. <laughs> You're leaving? I'll search for the espers on my own. Or my own way, rather. Aw, <laughs> poor realm. Interceptor! <laughs> 